Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Hope you are all having an amazing day today. My name is Lex, and welcome to this. This is the brand new Emperor Vector for GTA Online, which is out as of today. This is a basically law-friendly version of the Lexus RCF, and in this video, I just want to take a look at this car, crash into some fences, take the wrong turn. Well, we've already done those things. We're going to be looking at the car, modifying it, looking at the parts, and uh, doing a really sweet build on this thing. And so here we are with the Emperor Vector. Let's just go ahead and actually open up the doors, see what we've got here. We've got a nice boot. Uh, also, we've got a boot that's actually got that whole bit there that where the door, where the boot swings in, all padded. I don't know if the real one's like that. I've just never seen that detail before in a car for GTA. Uh, then we have the door here and the interior, which I don't recognize, but then I don't know. Um, I don't really know much about the other types of cars that are like this, so this might have been reused somewhere. Then on the engine, big old meaty V8 lovely and yes as you can tell from the styling this is pretty much just a lexus rcf i'm sure theo is going to be loving this one big massive giant grill i actually kind of want to see if there's any grill additions that are going to break that up so let's just jump straight in and have a look at the parts so let's just go to spoiler straight away many options to start we've got our stop we've got our low lid actually blends in quite well then we have the carbon version which actually does an even better job because it looks a bit more premium we have the painted version of that as well. We also have that in the secondary painted. We have a ducktail spoiler, just a bigger one. That's a little bit too tunery for this one. I think the other one is perhaps a bit more suitable, but not too bad. Then we have the arc spoiler in a much thicker, rubberier type of spoiler. We also have those in a bunch of different options. Actually, that one doesn't look so bad. I don't know. That, that one seems kind of different to, say, this one. This one, yeah, it's the... It's the thinness of this one that makes it look a bit too tunery. Whereas this one looks, yeah, looks a bit more premium. Then we have the racer spoiler in a bunch of different options. Oh, and also these ones here. Interesting. Well, I think, actually, I'm going to go for that primary arc spoiler. It looks pretty nice. Front bumper, we have the stock. We have the secondary color thing on the grill. Instead of having the chrome, we then have the arc bumper. See that? Actually, okay, it breaks up a bit and then instantly makes it look like a Nissan Primera or something, or whatever those new Nissans are. I don't really keep up with new cars, to be honest. It just makes it look like some sort of new generic style Nissan, is for some reason, instead of a Toyota or Lexus. Then we have the Rally Bumper, which makes it look like it's had some sort of really botched front end swap with like a, a GT86 or something. You know, the new one that's coming out? Wow, that is actually terrible. Okay, then we also have the performance version of that, and uh, that in second trigger, and then we have the trackball. Yeah, it looks like a Nissan. Is anyone else getting this vibe? This whole bit, I just expect to see a Nissan badge in the middle of this one. It looks very strange. Well, to be quite honest with you, they all look terrible, so I think I might have to keep it stock. Wow, okay, that's, that's an abomination. So, onto the rear bumper, and we have this. We have the street, which had some interesting prongs on it. Not sure about that. That in a secondary colour as well. We have the racer bumper, just more diffuser styles here. The skid bumper. And then the wow. Okay, the GT bumper. That's pretty full on. Then we also have that in carbon and the super bumper. Wow, okay, you can actually make this look really crazy. Well, I kind of wanted to make this like a just a really nice streetable one. That seems to be like my default style. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you're wondering why I don't do as many builds anymore, it's because I'm going to be doing separate videos where I just do multiple builds in a video. So uh, look forward to that on this car and all the other ones from this update as well. Well, I'd say the skid bump is actually not so bad because it's just a slight variation of what we already have. See, it doesn't really change it too much. And I'll have that in carbon fiber as well. So we'll keep that on the rear. Just it's got a little bit of sportiness. Seems like I'm not changing up the front. Maybe we can get some matching side skirts as well. Let's just breeze through these. They're actually nice, simple lip ones here. A little bit more aero focused on these ones as they get a little bit more crazy. Then we've got this sort of like older style one right here. And then some more aero style ones. Yeah. I quite like it just having that little subtle lip in carbon i think that other bit is actually the secondary color that might be what that is there just to check we change this to red okay right the red is all secondary color okay 
Seems we're going to have a nice little accent colour going on then. Exhaust options, we have the stock, we have the anodized. Not too sure on that. We have the oval, they look pretty good. The slash cut, the twin rounds in an awful colour. Not sure on that at all. And then we have the titanium ones. I'm going to go for, I think, just the stock oval ones. They look nicer than the slash ones. Then we have a bunch of cage options as well. Loads of different ones right here. They just get more and more. Some of them just go round the dashboard. Some of them are going to go through. Yes. Uh, do I just get this all crazy? I don't know. This kind of... The problem with modifying a car like this is if I was to do it in real life, obviously, if I had this sort of car in real life, I probably wouldn't go crazy with it. It's nice enough as it is. You'd probably just stick a, you know, a louder bat box on it or something. So this is a bit excessive. Let's just go for that. It's kind of different. Actually, do you know what? I instantly don't like it. <laughs> nope. No, it just doesn't it just doesn't fit it. It's not a race car. It's a street car on the bonnet options We have some different color versions ones without vents as well What's it's called the Vectra the Vectra just that that makes me just think of an old Vauxhall to be honest So we have these different vented hood options. These these don't look too bad some variations on the stock one as well None of them are too out there or too crazy Although that one is pretty simple. It's quite an elegant car that's why I don't want to make anything that's sort of too tunery, you know what I mean? See, that that street hood actually suits it quite nicely. That's not too bad. So I'll definitely go for that one then. Then on the fenders, we have the... F Ooh! Okay. Do we get these that aren't sort of stamped on and are moulded? Uh, do you know what? I am going to make this look a little bit meaner though. I'm really sort of back and forth on this because I really don't know what direction I want to go. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the arc fenders then, but I just... I just I don't want them bolted in. Well, roof options actually come stock with a carbon one. We can have that painted. Oh, we actually get a nice inset roof as well. I like that. Or the ridgeline roof. Hmm, carbon ridgeline? Actually, I like the carbon inset. That's good. I like that one. We'll upgrade the brakes transmission, but to be honest, on this island, you're not going to get much out of it. Whoa, okay. I almost glossed over that. What is going on with this? It goes normal, normal, and then it just starts going stupid, stupid, and then... <laughs> well, we're in single player right now, which means I have V-Stancer, which means I'm going to keep that stock for now and use V-Stancer on it in a second. Let's stick a turbo on, even though we don't really need it. This vehicle has no extras. Let's move on to the Benny's mods then. And we've got some nice carbon splitters out. Okay, so we can make the front look a little bit sportier without having to go crazy on the design on the front. Definitely some interesting options here. I'm just going to breeze through these. Some of them get pretty crazy. I think I'll go for the carbon stock splitter because it just matches the red all the way around. We have the option of the sun strip. Uh, I'm not going to go for that on this one. So on the interior, we have the stock. We have the street. Wow, okay. This is pretty interesting. That in carbon or the flocked. Okay. I mean, you could definitely make a fully stripped out race car version of this, which is pretty cool. But it's, it's just not in keeping with the feel I want. I really don't know how... I, I'm very, very mixed feelings on all of these parts, I'll be honest. Well, then we have the different door selections, as we always get, including some nice... What is that? Apparently that's flocked, but that's definitely wrong. That looks like a ballistic fibre or corduroy or something. <laughs> no, I don't want to take out any of that. I don't want to take away from the feel of the car. Ah... Oh, yeah, well, I can imagine that the seat options, these are pretty much the generic seat options you get with everything. Oh, actually, there is a slight different one. They've got a newer... Oh, they should add this seat in because we always get given this one and it's a bit too much. But this one... Oh. Oh. I really like the seat model. Okay, okay. Just... Yeah. Uh, do I keep this? <laughs> ah, do you know what? I'm going to keep it. I'm going to completely change the design of this. I'm going to go in a completely different way now. Okay, give me carbon door panels. Give me a carbon dash all stripped out. Let's do this. I'm just curious to see how this is going to turn out. Let's just go for the full carbon super splitter. God, it just goes against what I feel is right, but I'm curious to see how it's going to turn out. So let's just go for the matching carbon track skirts as well. Definitely a bit more than the carbon speed skirts. Yeah, those ones match. Then I guess we'll go for like the carbon GT bumper. Or the, oh no, the super bumper matches 
God, I don't like any of these lines. It just completely ruins the feel of the car for me. Um, but I still am going to stick with that front bumper uh, because <laughs> it just looks awful. So the spoiler then, did they have a matching... They've got a GT spoiler. Ah, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Even that one isn't actually that bad. It suits the car quite nicely, to be honest. But we'll go for the arrow just because that shape sort of looks like these shapes... And so, design-wise, it matches, even if they don't have a red ring around them. Okay, steering wheel. To be honest, I think these are all a bit not fancy enough for this car. I actually just like that stock wheel. I think that suits it fine. Okay, and then engine mods. Intake. Ooh. Okay. We'll go for carbon, just because I'm going to go for a full carbon build here. We also have some rail covers as well. Definitely don't like those on this. They're very retro looking. I just want more carbon. Ooh, we could just have the covers over it. That one. The racer rail covers, fine. Uh, we'll go for a carbon strut brace just to get everything the same. We've also got our headlight covers as well. Primary color, secondary color, and then some different color ones. I guess if this is going to turn into some sort of like DTM racer, I guess do it yellow or something. Hood catches, okay. Well, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, we have a hood bra as well. Or a GT hood bra. Man, this is this is just a wave of parts that I would never put on this car. Well, I'll stick some hood pins on. Okay, roof wing. We have a bunch of different antenna options and shark fin options. And some spoilers here. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know. Carbon street wing. To be honest, I don't like how there's like a, a, like a divide between that and the roof. Actually, do you know what? We don't really need a wing. So let's just go for these, shall we? Just some fins on the back. I'm sure that will make it look racier, right? Okay, mirrors. Just secondary and carbon. Go for carbon. Liveries. What have we got? I want something racy. We've got some lines, some stripes. Yeah, I, I tell you what, I really just do not like this build. I, I really wanted to see how it would turn out, but I'm just not liking any of this. Yeah, okay, through to this at the end, not really into any of it. Actually, I'm gonna go for the Exorbed, then I'll also go for the Iridescent Headlight Glass, just because that rainbow effect matches that rainbow effect. As for the wheels, well, I don't think Formula One wheels are gonna suit this one. To be honest, I don't think anything in the track wheel section is gonna be that great either. Okay, I'm gonna go for the Forged 5 on this one. Even though it just, I, I don't like any of this. I just don't like it. Do you know what? Scrapping it. I'm going back. Okay, I've put everything back. I've just made it just not as crazy because I just think this is just one of these cars that just doesn't, it's just the scale of everything just doesn't match and the wheels look really small now and oh, I'm just not feeling any of it. I really wish that I liked this, but I just don't. Okay, I'm going to go for like a classy darker red, like a grace red. I think that looks nice. On the secondary color, I am just going to go black just to get rid of these details. Maybe something like carbon black or something just to make them not stand out at all. And for V-Stancer, well, let's just, uh, I don't know, change the wheel size. I want to make them a little bigger just to fill the arches a bit more. Better width as well and then we'll just sort of put this all right lower it down just nicely nothing crazy i mean that is actually kind of crazy it's got big chunky arches i really don't have an eye for modifying modern cars maybe that's why maybe that's why i just i just have an eye that's better for older cars i think yeah i tried to make this stancy it hasn't worked either this is a i'm just chalking this up as a fail really okay well there we go. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's it. I'm just not a fan of any of this. I mean, it's quick. I'll give it that. In its stock form, it's fine. I like the little spoiler. That's about as far as I wanted to go. But other than that, I'm just not feeling any of the parts for this car because I think it's just nice as it is. Maybe I'm getting old. <laughs> oh god well there we go that is it for this video if you have modified this and you bought this in online i actually want to see your pictures you can tweet them at me at figure eight link to my twitter is in the description below because i'm really curious to see what other people have done with this okay i've got lost i don't know my way around here so yeah there we go if you have watched all the way to the end of this video where i just had a crisis <laughs> if, you've, if you've enjoyed watching my crisis you can say there's no words on this island is there what does this car say?
Oh, we got six this time. Six, one, X instead of five, I, X. Well, there we go. You can say six, one, X in the comment section below. I don't even recognize that car. Am I going mad? Is this a car that was added that I just never found out about? What the hell? Do you know what? This is cooler than that one, so let's go. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.